Welcome to the Motherboard YouTube channel. I am Elric, yo ho. The King of Fight, C60AX, UG5B3. Today we take what comes alone. Hope you guys like the intro something a little bit different there now we're going to jump into the motherboard some of the things i want to talk about off the bat though is about the ultra durable service of motherboards in general from gigabyte is their special features this motherboard's very heavy for one thing right off the bat it's a very heavy motherboard it features two times the copper of a normal motherboard it features the low ferrite choke and japanese high c capacitors for long life of the motherboard also supports their driver mosfet and their what they call their touch bios this is a hybrid efi bios that you just go into your windows environment and you can do all of your overclocking settings and stuff like that as well it also features dual bios technology which means if one of your bios chips goes bad it automatically bops into the other one to make sure that your board can keep up and running boards also supports a lot of stuff in the bios for overclocking and that kind of stuff so whether you're an enthusiast or you're an overclocker there are a lot of features about the board the board's based on the lga 1135 chipset supports all the latest Intel second generation core i7, i5, and i3 CPUs. You can see there's plenty of room around the ZIF socket for putting an aftermarket heat sink or if you're going to use water cooling type stuff, there's room around it to mount it. You can see there's also a cooling solution going all the way down the motherboard, cooling off all the chipsets. It's got a very heavy heat sink and also a pipe running all the way through it to help dissipate the heat away from that stuff. On the top here, we have the 8 pin connector here for your power. We have the 24 pin power over here to the other side. Um, for memory, it supports a DDR3, it supports the dual channel stuff, up to 32 gigabytes of memory all in all there. And on the motherboard, I'm gonna flip it around, there's a couple cool things right here. You have your power switch and all your reset switches right here. This is good for the people that do a lot of overclocking and just take their board and use it on a test station. People like that will enjoy that quite a bit. Um, as far as the SATA stuff goes, these are all your SATA connectors down here. You have two, four of your standard SATA 2, and then you have two of the new SATA 3 connectors right here. People would be appreciative of that. They got the new faster hard drives. Um, I don't know if you can really zoom in too much. I'll try to bring it over here, but these are the tool do bioses that are right here. I don't really have a macro camera, but I'll try to get in there. These are the little two little BIOS chips. They're actually in there. The BIOS switches between those, like I said before, if you're going to be uh, changing and doing overclocking. So we're gonna go ahead and set the board down again. Uh, as far as your PCI slots go, we have a variety of options here. We have one, two of the PCI 1X slots, and then we have one, two, three of the PCI 16X slots. Now these will either run in 16, eight, or four, or 16 if you're running them by themselves. This one connector up here is kind of in a really bad spot. It's actually kind of hard to get to. Um, if you're going to use, excuse me, if you're going to use an external IEEE FireWire, there's actually a connection right here. This board didn't come with a breakout box for that, but if you had one, this would be where you connected it to. Down here at the bottom also, you can see this is where all the connections go for connecting the motherboard to your case. Everything's pretty well labeled out and everything for you to see it there. So this is the motherboard. You can see it's pretty well laid out. It looks good. Has some great features. Like we said, the dual BIOS is one of the good things. Motherboard's made of 2x times the copper. Makes it very heavy, long life. Those are some of those features. I'm going to go ahead and flip it around now. Take a look at the rear I.O. The rear I.O. we have a legacy PS2 keyboard mouse, which is kind of interesting. If you have some of those old school things, you might appreciate this thing. Up here, we have the USB 2.0. And we also have over here an additional two of these. These are for support both USB 2.0 and 1.0. They're backwards compatible. Then we start with the audio. We have the coaxial and the SPDIF. Then over here, we have on board already, we have a mini and standard IEEE FireWire connector. And then at the very bottom right here, we have a combo. This is a combination E SATA USB. And then we also have two more of the USB 3.0 ports here and another USB 2, excuse me, another two USB 3.0 ports there. Right up above that, we have the LAN port. And then if you're using standard, if you're using standard analog uh, audio, these are your 7.1 analog connections right there. So there you go. I'll flip it around. As you guys see this once again, flip it around, show you the front show you the back most motherboard companies these days compete really much on features so i just really want to push there are really a lot of features on this motherboard so for overclockers enthusiasts there is a lot of stuff that you guys will be interested in so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move forward show you how the board 
is against the competition, how fast it is, and then in our final outro, we'll talk about whether the motherboard is worth your money. So at the end of the day, what do we get with Gigabyte's latest GA-Z68X-UD5V3 motherboard? This motherboard comes into market at almost $300. It's actually geared towards more of the enthusiast and gamer crowd. It supports both SLI and Crossfire on board. That's a really good thing for enthusiasts because a lot of times they change their mind about whose video card they want to use depending on the drivers and the card coming out. This thing also supports Intel's smart response technology. Didn't really mention that when I was going over the motherboard, but we have actually done a full review on that on Intel's smart response technology, so you guys can check that out as well. But basically, this motherboard has a lot of features. It's fully decked out, supports all of the latest Intel CPUs, and if you're somebody who wants to jump into the latest stuff from Intel, this is a high quality motherboard. So at the end of the day, if you're someone looking for a high quality, this board has it. Looking for a motherboard that's probably going to give you long life? This board has it as well. Also features the latest Intel Smart Response technology, and because of their new Touch BIOS, it also can feature all of the new 3 terabyte hard drives that are on the market. So whether you want to use the new 3 terabyte hard drives, you don't have to go out and buy any kind of additional adapter cable, this motherboard will use it right off the bat. So at the end of the day, I give this board a solid editor's choice here on motherboards.org for the new Z68 chipset lineup.